What's up everyone, George Lehman here with MuscleMascus.com. Wanted to talk to you guys about um, a client inquiry. I've, I've worked with a lot of clients who are very new to training. In fact, many of which who have never trained really at all. They've been to a gym a few times, they've worked out at high school with friends, they've done push-ups and stuff like that, but they've never been to a gym. And these same people happen to be um, significantly overweight, 300, 400, 500 pounds. Basically, these people are looking to lose a lot of fat very fast, and they're looking to gain muscle, and they're looking to transform their body, they're looking to transform their life. And they don't really know what to do, they don't know where to start. Um, they've been eating bad for years, they've been eating fast food, pizza, you know, whatever, whatever it is they like to eat, they've been eating a lot of it, and it's usually pretty bad food. They don't even know how many calories they eat. They don't know where to start with training. They don't know where to start with cardio. Typically, um, what people will do is they'll go right from eating, you know, six or 7,000 calories a day in cheeseburgers and fries and chips and ice cream and stuff like that, and they'll go and watch TV, and they'll see that someone runs or does tons of cardio and eats almost nothing. And these people will get on a 1500 or 1900 calorie diet or something like that. And they'll start doing hours of cardio a day of walking, biking, whatever they're doing. And they will lose weight fast, but what will happen is, is they'll relapse because they're eating so little. And oftentimes what will happen is after losing say 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds, they go from 400 to 350, you know, something like that they um, plateau. They can't keep losing weight. Their body gets adjusted to the lower calories. Fat loss becomes very hard. They don't really know what they're doing in the gym, so they're not really making progress. They're not necessarily any stronger than they were. So what I wanted to do was, I wanted to make a video um, talking to beginners who have a lot of weight to lose and get in shape, or people that are just, people that just have a lot of weight to lose in general. Um, anyone could benefit from this, really, if you're going on a, a cut but specifically aimed at uh, my friends on YouTube who have a lot of weight to lose and don't really know what they're doing. I wanted to give a brief explanation of how you can keep from plateauing, how you can get continual fat loss, how you can keep from getting your body adjusted to the very low calories and stuff like that. Okay, so let's say you count your calories for three days, everything you eat. Don't change your diet, just count your calories for three days. Let's say, First day is 5,000, next day is 7,000, third day is 6,000. So you're maintaining weight around 6,000 calories a day, safe to say. If you were to cut the average down to 5,000 calories, you'd be in roughly a 1,000 calorie deficit, which is going to be typically a couple pounds of fat loss a week. Now, my suggestion is not to go for right from eating six or 7,000 calories or 5,000, whatever it is you're eating, down to almost nothing. What you want to do is you want to gradually lower it. So if you're maintaining on 6,000, maybe start at 5,000. Um, now, what you're going to do is gradually, over time as you stop losing weight, lower it by 500 calories, give or take, at a time. So whenever you stop losing weight on 5,000, then we're going to go to 4,500. Whenever you stop losing weight on 4,500, we're going to go to 4,000. Um, in terms of cardio, like I said, a lot of people jump to doing hours of cardio right away. They jump to tons of running, biking, whatever. Um, my suggestion would be if you're maintaining weight, eating 6,000 calories, doing any cardio at all is going to be an added plus. So rather than starting off with intense running, biking, swimming, and stuff like that to try and lose weight as fast as possible, I would recommend starting off with only a little bit of low intensity cardio, which for people that are, you know, 400 pounds or so, low intensity cardio is going to be very effective and it's going to be one of the few types of cardio that you can actually do. So again, with the diet, you start off, you know, a little bit less than you maintain on and lower it over time. With the cardio, you might start off with 20 or 30 minutes of walking and whenever you stop losing weight from that, you might up it to 30 or 45 minutes. When if you stop losing weight from that, you might up it to an hour of walking. Um, whenever that stops working, you may up the intensity a little bit. You may up the incline of the treadmill. You may walk a little bit faster. You may do two sessions of cardio instead of one, um, doing, say, 40 minutes each instead of one hour total. Um, 
So you gradually increase the cardio over time. Now, when it comes to training, a lot of people that are new to training are going to have drastically worse endurance than people who are, you know, used to training all the time. Someone who doesn't train might go in the gym, do one set of bench press, their chest, their shoulders, or arms are just dead. Um, my suggestion, again, might be something along the lines of, let's say you're training three days a week to start with. Um, one day upper body, one day back, one day legs. Very easy way to get started. Um, there's many, many ways of doing it, but we're just going to use that as an example. So let's say for upper body you're doing chest, shoulders, and triceps. You might do bench press, um, barbell shoulder press, cable flies, side laterals, and push downs. Um, chest, shoulders, and triceps. It's not a lot. It's not a lot of different exercises, but let's say you just start there because it's an easy place to start. Now, let's say you do one set of each exercise. You bench 95 pounds, you shoulder press for reps, you shoulder press 65 pounds for reps, you do cable flies for three sets of you know 10 to 20, you do side laterals for three sets of 10 to 20, you push downs for three sets of 10 to 20. Now, over time, obviously the weights are going to go up. You're going to add weight every week to the bar, five pounds here, etc., five pounds there. Um, over time, that's going to burn more calories, obviously, because you're building muscle, but your body's going to get used to it, and it's not going to be as effective for fat loss. So my suggestion would be, over time, increasing your volume of sets. So instead of doing one set of bench, you might do two sets. As that stops the work, you might do three sets. So basically, what you're going to be doing is, is you're going to be slowly lowering calories over time, you're going to be slowly increasing cardio over time, and you're going to be slowly increasing training volume over time as you get stronger. So someone at say 400 pounds eating 6,000 calories might start off with a 5,000 calorie diet, 30 minutes of walking, and three relatively low volume, easy, fast workouts uh, per week. Now, that would probably work for a few weeks, possibly even a few months of fat loss. Uh, you might lose, you know, 10, 20. It, it depends on the person. It depends how much weight you have to lose and how sedentary you are. But when that stop, stops to work, when that starts to slow down, you would then up the cardio to 45 minutes, you'd lower the calories to 4,500, and you would go from doing one to three sets per exercise to two to four sets per exercise. Um, you can also take it a step further and add in a fourth training day or a fifth training day or a sixth training day. And what this is going to do is this is going to progressively lower your calories and progressively burn more calories. So rather than jumping right from, say, five or 6,000 calories to 1,900 and doing tons of cardio and losing weight very fast but then plateauing and not being able to continue to diet and having to basically almost eat nothing and run around all the time just to maintain your weight, which is very hard to do. And many people relapse because as soon as you go and eat four cheeseburgers, well, you threw that diet out the window for the day if you're maintaining on 1,900 calories now because your metabolism is so screwed up from dieting too fast. Um, so this is going to allow you to progressively, over time, continue to lose more and more and more weight. Um, this is essentially what I did. I went from 385 pounds to 235 pounds. And the first six months, I went from eating, you know, six or 7,000 calories a day down to 1,900 uh, calories a day, starting off with a little bit of cardio, ending up at a lot. And yes, I lost 100 pounds over six months. And I was training six days a week. I was doing cardio up to two hours a day. I was doing lots of volume. And I had lowered my calories. I'd started around 2,500 or 3,000 and lowered it to 1,900. But afterwards, my metabolism was messed up. And losing a pound was very, 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 very hard to do. I lost my first 100 pounds in six months. It took a year to lose another 50 pounds because I took so much damage to my metabolism by constantly training, constantly doing cardio, and hardly eating anything. Your body does not want to make such drastic changes. It's going to try and normalize things. It's going to try to um, get used to eating 1,900 calories and get used to doing two hours of walking and get used to all the training. So I recommend for people looking to lose a lot of weight if you are new to progressively eat less, to progressively train more, to progressively do more cardio. And if you do it too fast, 
yes, you will see better short-term gains, but you will not see as good of long-term gains. So hopefully that helps out any of you guys who are watching this video who want to go from you know, 300 to 200 or 400 to 250 or whatever it is you're trying to do. You're trying to lose uh, you know, some significant amount of fat or even just people looking to lose 30 pounds but don't know how to do it. You're looking to go from you know, 200 to 170 because you want to have abs and that's just the type of body you want and it's very hard for you to diet because you eat 2,000 calories a day. Progressively increase your cardio, progressively increase your training volume, progressively lower your calories depending on how much you're eating. I don't think anyone should be eating very, very, very low calories. I try and make sure all my clients are eating more than 2,000 and many of my clients eat 4,000, 5,000 calories. Um, because you have to remember, if you're eating clean food, if you're training hard, if you have a lot of muscle mass, you can eat a lot of food while dieting and you can even gain muscle while dieting. If you weigh a lot, if you weigh three or 400 pounds and you don't work out, you will gain muscle while losing fat if you start training and train properly and eat right. So, as always guys, thanks for watching my videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and check out MuscleMaskets.com for approved products, apparel, online coaching, and stuff like that. Stay tuned for more.